Okay, this is a part two of the application of Q equals MC data. We'll be exploring a transform of thermal energy to find the type final temperature for a seam material. What will happen when we mix object of higher temperature with lower temperature? For example, if we mix water of 80 degrees Celsius with water of 40 degrees Celsius. From experience, we will know that the hotter water will cool down and the colder water will heat up. This is due to the thermal energy transfer from the higher temperature to a lower temperature. This process will continue until both water is of the same temperature. What do you think will be the final temperature of both objects? One logical conclusion we can make is that the final temperature must be somewhere between the higher and lower temperature. So the final temperature cannot be lower or higher than its initial temperature. It means that it cannot be higher than 80 degrees, neither can it be colder than 40 degrees Celsius. A reasonable answer seems to be a 60 degrees Celsius as it's the middle of 40 and 80. But is it always true? Actually, it's a common beginner misunderstanding to think that the final temperature will be exactly at the midpoint of the initial temperature of the two objects. If you have the experience of mixing hot and cold water to obtain a temperature that you desire, you instinctively will understand this idea. Because if it's too much hot water, the final temperature will be too high. But likewise, if it's too much cold water, the final temperature will be too low. Thus, this illustrates that besides the initial temperature of the objects, the amount or the mass of the objects are also key in determining the final temperature of the objects. The only situation which the final temperature is exactly at the midpoint of the initial temperature of the two objects of the same material is when they have both the same mass. So how do we then find out the exact temperature? The important overall concept is Using the thermal energy lost by the hotter object is equal to the thermal energy gained by the colder object. So this is in line with conservation of energy. But of course, another important assumption is that there is actually no loss of thermal energy uh, to the surroundings. And the thermal energy loss or gain can be calculated by uh, our formula Q equals mc theta or mc uh, change in temperature. The change in temperature of the hotter object is generally different from the change in temperature of the colder object. There is no rule or law governing saying that the change in temperature for both objects must be the same. We will use an example to help illustrate this idea. So hot water of 80 degrees Celsius of mass 2 kg is mixed with cold water of 40 degrees Celsius of mass of 1 kg. So what is the final temperature? Given that specific capacity is 4002. First, we establish that uh, there's this uh, delta F, there's a final temperature of the mixture, which is in between 80 to 40, uh, but we do not know where, what is the value. So uh, delta H is the fine initial temperature of the hotter object, and delta C is the colder object. So energy loss equals to the energy gain. So energy loss by the object, hotter object is completely gained by the colder object. This is the hot object MC data. This is the cold object MC data. As denoted, this delta H is from 80 to the final temperature. This colder temperature change is from 40 to this final temperature change. By substituting the various value, so the hotter object is mass of 2, a uh, specific capacity of water, then the temperature change is from 80 to the final temperature. Likewise, for the colder object is 1, 4200, the temperature change is from final temperature to the 40 degrees Celsius. By doing mathematical calculation, we would be able to, of course, uh, cancel this 4200. Okay, because they are the same. So you, you are left with this. And expand. And by, trans, by gathering all the terms for delta F, you should get 3 delta F equals 200. And delta F it will, final temperature will be 66.7 degrees Celsius. So actually that's how you obtain the value, which is actually closer to 80 degrees than in the middle. So 
we use a, another example which is similar except that the mass of cold water is greater which is 2 kg versus 1 kg of hot water. So we should expect the final temperature to be closer to 40 degrees rather than 80 degrees. But let's just do it. So same, we apply the same thing, delta F which is the final temperature which is just arbitrary is in between 80 to 40. Again, loss is equal to gain which is very similar to the previous question. So this is a loss by the hotter object, this is gained by the colder object. Substituting a relevant value, okay, notice this time around your mass is different, 2 and 1, but do the same thing, you can cancel this out, do the mathematical calculation, expand, gather the terms, and you find that this time around 3 delta F is equal to 160, which is 53.3 degrees Celsius. So this also shows that uh, having more cold water in this case would bring the temperature closer to the uh, colder water. So that's all for now. Thank you. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.